Chapter 8. Why does the future not need a This will be the possible learning outcomes for this discussion. First, who made this article? Second, critic of Belgium, why does the future not need us? And third, the main point of Belgium on his article. And lastly, the summary. Why does the future not need us? This article written by Belljoy. In April 2000, Belljoy published an article in Ward magazine entitled, Why does the future not need us? He argues that our most powerful 21st century technologies, robotics, genetic engineering, and nanotech. Critic of Belljoy, why does the future not need us? Belgium stated that the future does not need us because of the advancement of robotics, engineering, and nanotech. What is nanotechnology? Nano means very small and it comes from the Greek word nanos meaning dwarf. It is art and science of manipulating matter at the nanoscale. Thus, encompassing nanoscale science and involve manipulating matter at 1 to 100 nanometer length scale. Critic of Belgium, why does the future not need us? That Belgium stated that we shifted a paradigmatic system where technologies emerge with all aspects and dimensions. Technologies will open up new doors, improve efficiency and help people reach their full potential but at the same time, these rapid developments have an impact on human rights and future work of people most especially in industrial sectors, they are unluckily affected. Although technology can have negative effects on humanity, it is impossible to remove or eliminate the rapid developments of technology as it's part of human nature and UN declare universal declaration of human rights to give human the right to freedom of being human. The main point of Belljoy on his article, in the first part of Joyce's article, he introduced the fears he and others have for the potential danger of new 21st century technologies known as GNR genetics, nanotechnology, and robotics. In the part 2 of Belger's article, Joyce encouraged society to take responsibility for the technology and encourage preventative measures to be taken and decrease chances for potential disaster. In the final notes of his article, Joyce expresses his faith that human will confront this issue, says each of us has our fresh precious things. And as we care for them, we locate the essence of our humanity. It is because of our great capacity for caring that I remain at sick we will confront the dangerous issue. And for the summer session of why the future doesn't need us, giving the reader of negative interpretation for the future, Joy's presentation suggests that one day, the robot race will take over once human technology has advanced greatly. That is stage where robots have mind of their own and can make decisions for them, for themselves, and there will be no need for humans.